Hi, it's John Chris from Ace R&D. Well, today we've got another use for our Bridgeport mill here. We've got a six-cylinder uh, Ford head on the table hanging off to the side here, and we used a couple of all-thread rods and uh, a couple of nuts to hold this on. We're going to be removing a, a bolt, and uh, to be able to do that, we actually use the quill with a 5 16 size uh, collet to center up on the on the broken bolt what's sticking out there and now we're going to go ahead and mill it out and take it the rest of the way out and then we'll probably put a time start in here This uh, bolt goes all the way through to water. This is a, a job that most machine shops wouldn't begin to tackle because it's on the end of the head. Unless they had some sort of an EDM to uh, burn the thing out. One of the reasons I love the Bridgeport so much is because it's really universal for everything. Alright, that's it. Well, it looks like we got most of our threads left. How about that? I'm going to take a look with a bolt here and have a look. Well, looks like it drops straight through. So we'll go ahead and drill this out and put the uh, time cert in. I'm going to put a uh, tap center in here so that we can get the hole nice and square. There's nothing worse than having a screw, screw go in cocky wobble and it's horrible. Nothing lines up. Now we can find a little bit of water for the tap. Camera raised up here a bit.
we're going to drill the receiver for the insert. Well, we put a little bit of oil on our cap. This is what's called a fluidless tap, meaning that it has no fluids. But if you actually put the tap between your fingers, it's not round either. It's kind of square shaped. So when it goes through, it expands the bottom of the insert out, which makes it stick in there really well. All right, well, that's it. And just another use for your Bridgeport mill. This is John Coast Mace R&D. We'll see you soon.